Oh my god, I'm late already, bro. Oh my god, I'm late. Oh. Oh, uh, I'm sorry I'm late, dude. Dude. Oh my god. But listen, I. Alfred, listen, buddy. I'm gonna take this mask off to explain that I'm not touching my glasses for this video. All right? <laughs> oh god, guys, if you have not seen the other video, my comment section destroyed poor forest but we did get you a lot of views because it was, like this, right? oh, it, was, it was something like this every time like it was every two seconds it was an incredible video though and an incredible boat by the way so guys we're here at hcb and i spoke to forest a couple days ago and forest what do we got do we got some new stuff can we, we can we board the, uh new 53 swing yokes from hcb let's step on board and i'll go through some of the new features we've done i am going to leave my mask off I am going to leave my mask off so you guys can understand me. However, here at the Fort Lauderdale International Boat Show, there are plenty of mask ambassadors walking around, keeping everybody safe, telling you to wear your mask. Great. Let's check her out. My goodness. Here Let me we are, guys. Check out the uh, few new features on the 53 Sueños from HCB. First thing you'll notice back there is the quad 425 Yamahas. We now offer this boat in five, a quick Merc 450 setup. That boat will Oh. What what are we what are we, what are we looking at as far as like for instance with these quads how fast is this boat going? With the quad 425s uh, mid to low 50s is really your top end, but where HCB really excels against our competition is 45 mile an hour or so through absolutely anything you can throw these boats at. Whether you're boating in the Chesapeake Bay down here in South Florida or all the way up in the Northeast where I'm from, um, well, and again. Being a customizable brand really allows you to build the boat exactly how you're going to use it. So tell me about this, because this looks new on a 53 here the for us. The mezzanine seat, Alfred, great point. This was such a hot option on the 65. Everybody started asking if we could do it on the 53. Okay. Because we're a customizable brand. We like to fit the client's needs, that's for sure. The other thing you'll notice here, this is a brand new feature. First boat we've done this on. Oh, look at that. Oh, man. Pop-up TV there. That is super cool, dude. Now, we haven't done any testing with running with it up, but we will let you know on that. And I'm sure you guys can let us know in the comments what you think. But that is very thick and nice, heavy-duty bracket there. As we push that down, head forward, you'll see the Release Marine teak ladder back seats. Very, very sharp and complete the look of this boat with the tow rail as well as the other teak accents that you'll notice throughout. Another one of the new features that we did on this boat specifically is the stainless rails. Everywhere you look, you'll see this stainless as opposed to the white powder coat. Um, that includes all your cleats, bow rail, um, rub rail, as well as your grab rail when you're here at the helm. There I go again, touching my glasses. Don't touch your glasses, don't dude. Touch my glasses. Last video, they ripped you. <laughs> don't don't start it, guys. Take it easy on me in the comments section. <laughs> watch, right? watch, watch the other video, guys. You're going to understand what he was talking about. But All right, so so I'm definitely seeing some differences, and I'm sure they're going to see the di they're going to see the differences. Are these differences just on the on the Sueños or are the, are the Estrella too? On the Estrella and all the way down to the Special. We like to make changes in overall factory changes in the sense that typically if something's wrong with one of the models, there's improvements that can be made throughout the entire lineup from the 39 to the 42, 53 as well as the 65. So how, how, how deep is this actual hardtop? Like, it looks like maybe about 15 to 16 feet. I don't know the exact dimensions on it, Alfred, but you are as wide as you are in the entire deck here. So those go all the way out to the gunnel and very far forward and aft. The other thing you'll notice in this hardtop, it's hard to see in the video, but there's actually a gutter track in that. So when it's raining or when it's wet out, all that water that ends up on your hardtop traditionally will run down here it's all gonna go to the corners and drain out there. So tell me about the helm. Let's check this out. One of the first times we've done helm AC on a 53. Guys, oh. I don't know if you can tell how hot it is, but this is making the world of a difference. I've been it's, hanging out on this boat quite a bit today. And, and it's AC. open, yeah, it's crazy. Oh, it's fantastic. You can also do an enclosure outfit, just to your point. 
if you wanted to, you can uh, do the gull wing option on this. Okay. And that will really enclose this, especially for us up in the northeast. That, that's a I was going to ask that. Option. Yeah, so a lot of north uh, northwesterners and even Pacific Northwest. Um, that that want to have much smaller uh, than typically down here in South Florida. You can be boating 12 months out of the year, so we want to make that available for guys in the uh, the colder weather markets. Throw the gull wings on there, and yeah. How's the new Helm Master system on these uh, on these Yamahas? The, the Yamaha new control for the outboards. You can't even put it into words. The, the fluidity in this control unit is just. Uh, amazing. A lot, a I, I lot of boats, a lot of boats here at the show are using. A lot of the bigger ones are using the 425 Yamahas. I'm seeing them a lot on the show. It so, is. so let's go to the bow and let's go ahead and take a look at the bow on this particular model. Uh, As we work our way to the bow, you'll pass the cabin entrance, but we'll be back to that. We'll end up in there. Here, uh, keeping with the uh, updated theme, we did a contoured seat here. Keeps you much more locked in. Let me uh, see that. And, uh, I want them to see we that. Continue that actually with those bow seats that you just took the seat on, Alfred. That's contoured to your body. And again, the idea there is to keep you locked in and keep you feeling safe and secure when you go in mid 50s on this boat. Now, this table is hydraulically actuated and it goes up and down for us? It is. If you notice right there by your knee up under that uh, the gunnel there, okay. there's a set of uh, keys. That will actually push this all the way down. If you don't want this here, obviously pop off your cushion. Okay. Non skid there. Nice. Take all these cushions off and make this one large fishing pad if you wanted to up here. Or a sun pad if you wanted to lay out as well. You could just exactly. adjust it to the right have size. The option for the wife and kids, right? And I, I like the fact that it's 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 a little lower here so that the table goes all the way down so you won't stub your toe or any of that. The inlay, when that's all the way down, completely makes that table disappear. And it is very sharp. Typically, I will run with the table all the way down when I'm uh, captaining one of these 53s. But again, it's all personal preference and these boats are made to handle. Windless and Sea Keeper on these guys? Sea Keeper, generator, uh, windless is uh, controlled at the bell as well as at your helm. Uh, you also have a refrigerated chill plate here, as well as one in each fish box. Oh my God, look how big this is, dude. Uh, back of the cockpit there. I thought this was a part of the actual, uh, part of the, actual the cabin. Right? Yeah, yeah, no, but this is, no. this is great right here. I think those, <laughs> I think water we're only, over, you know what, we're going to have to discuss a water over, we're, we're going to have to trade a, a video we for a water. To do that. All right, guys, listen, that's a surprise and that's awesome. So, and again, with the refrigerated <laughs> chill plate in there to control the temperature. So a lot of guys like in the sport fish market and stuff like that have adapted to, to large center consoles like this. Talk to me about some of the, like the, the fish boxes and, and, and a little bit of the fishing side of these particular boats. So again, being a customizable brand, uh, we can really make this boat a heavy, heavy fishing boat if you wanted to. You notice we do have the rod holders going all the way up to the bow here. Yeah. So that is a fishing option. Underneath both of those bow seats, as well as this seat, these are all drained and plumbed to be at, uh, available fish boxes if you wanted to. You could certainly throw your catch in any of these hatches here. Alfred, you're also standing on a very massive box there. Show, that, show, show me that. They would love, love to see that. That can certainly be used for um, extra props is what we've done there before. You do two brackets, you throw your extra set of wheels in there, just in case you're doing that, uh, you know, kind of shallow water fishing. In occasionally we we need to change a prop right so what what does this boat draft what how, how skinny can it get very very little especially once you're up on plane running at full speed just about three feet with those d425 yamaha so that is very impressive for this boat one so, thing you'll notice even though it does not draw very much it is as sturdy of a boat as you will walk on at this entire show out Okay, so here's what we're gonna do. I'm gonna, I'm gonna jump in this, stay outside the cabin. If you can describe exactly what I'm gonna be seeing right now, just so, so we can you know, do the whole social I distance. I'll do my best, so All we right. don't get within that six feet. All right, so, so open this up and let me jump, jump in there and then from out here, just explain what I'm gonna be filming so they, they can see a little bit of that. Certainly, the first thing is you won't see in this video, but Alfred will feel is the AC. Down there, it's going to be much cooler for you. Um, you will notice the teak walls. Um, we did the full teak cabinetry. Also, if you move that 
uh, head door, you'll notice a new set of cabinets there up against the porch side. First time we've done a real mattress, you want to pull up that bed sheet there. Um, you can really see the mattress and see this, how thick it is. Oh my god, this is, yeah, this is huge. So, very, very thick. So separate head as well? Separate head and separate shower. So if you look in there, you actually have a teak floor in your shower. I'm not a small guy and I can stand up in that shower very, very easily. Nice. And it's the lighting throughout the HCB line is something that we've been commended on many times as well. You'll notice that you have green lights in here now in the cabin. Mm -hmm. Just like the rest of the boat, you can certainly uh, circle all the way through any color in the spectrum. And the finishes are obviously incredible. You guys do a fantastic job. Everything feels. We've done a headliner on this uh, 53. First time we've done a headliner on the 53. So you'll notice everything just feels a little bit more finished and a little bit more uh, of that high-end yacht feel that we're going for. Again, keeping with the heavy-duty theme, everything is nice and sturdy everywhere you grab. Nothing feels shaky or uh, chintzy like you so, on some So, other. Forrest, let me ask you. Right now, we've had, like, and most boat builders have had the same issue, right? They have... Can't build them fast enough. That's right. So many people said, hey, listen, I was locked down for X amount of time. I want to go ahead and buy a boat. I don't know, maybe not a lot of, about boats, but, but enough that I can go ahead and get on the water. I mean, obviously somebody who's gonna purchase this boat more than likely knows about the water. Typically, uh, somebody that's gonna jump into a boat of this size is going to know quite a bit about boating and the boating lifestyle. Now with the joystick technology and the bow thruster, really anybody can run this boat and we will give you uh, plenty of lessons to make sure that you feel comfortable. Uh, let's let's speak boat. about the Sea Keeper option because the Sea Keeper is a, is a gyro that some people may not know. Let's go take a look at let's that. Let's go take a look at that. Let's go see that. So, I'm assuming... if you want to put it into as light of terms as possible, imagine a medicine ball that's inside a housing. That medicine ball gets you spinning at like 9,300 RPM. You look there, it's actually underneath the support between your hatches. Um, the 53 comes with the Sea Keeper 6. That's run off your generator. Now the 42, if you did the non-generator option, you could certainly do the DC-powered Sea Keeper. Sea Keeper has kind of evolved and moved into an option for just about any boat that you can uh, fit a Sea Keeper into. You can now have the power go as well. So they, they, they've made these with towers as well. So if somebody wanted a tuna tower, you guys can make it with a tuna tower, all that good very, stuff. Very, very easily. The hard top stays exactly the same. The only difference is you have a triangle or a uh, square cut out of that corner. Um, and that's where your actual, actual ladder goes to get up. So if you want to kind of use your imagination here, if this is cut out, you'll have a step here, um, a step up here, and then one Okay. To get up to your tower itself. So what are we talking about fuel capacity on this guy? I want you guys to take a guess in the comment section right now before I tell you how many gallons are in this boat. I, I would say think? over 600. Over, Alfred, come on. You've done quite a few boat, uh, boat walkthroughs. You know it's more than 600. I don't want to give it away, man. I want people to comment away. below. All right, so listen. They just came. A thousand gallons. A thousand gallons, gallons. thousand gallons of gas. You also have a diesel tank for your diesel generator as well. Guys, don't how much? Don't how much? Me on the glass. How much range? I know. I'm counting. There's two so far. There's two so far. You you get over five. That comment and, section and is gonna. That's it. Then we got to restart, right? <laughs> um, <laughs> edit, edit, edit. <laughs> so far, all right. Let's talk about Dude, price sure, points. Sure. What what are some of the price points on a boat like this? Typically, you're going to be right around the two one two two. Um, and up from there. If you want to do a tower in the Point Mercs, you're going to be somewhere just under 2.5 uh, or so for a 53. Um, the 65 draw a circle right around 4. Depending on what you do to that, that could go up as much as 4.5. What's the build time now uh, starting 2021? What do you guys expect build times to be? Depends on when you are watching this video um, because, again, the Fort Lauderdale International Boat Show, you can see there are crowds out. 
everybody's got their mask on and social, socially distancing themselves. Um, but we have done a few orders already, and this is only day two. So as of right this second, you're about six months out on the 53. All right, guys. Well, listen, I want to go ahead and thank Forrest. Forrest, guys, you, don't you, forget your yacht guy on Instagram. <laughs> All right, check him out. Don't forget to to watch the other video so you guys can see. You can see this. How many? How, uh, how many? How many people called you? Seriously. Um, I probably did get about ten calls on that uh, the video. So thank you very much, Alfred. I appreciate your uh, help and all your followers. All right, guys. Well, listen. I want to thank the people at HCB here and the Fort Lauderdale International Boat Show. Forrest, you're a pro, bro. We're gonna have to. We're gonna have to take this on a sea trial. We're gonna. We're, we you, have a 53 with this engine set up as well as a Quint 450 Merc boat. Should we promise them maybe a sea trial on one of these? Maybe not this one, but one of the two. Maybe show? we let's, can make that let, happen. Let, just let, for you, Al. Let's go, guys. Hey. We're gonna go ahead and have me in the back of the transom going, oh my God, it's wide open. Yeah. All right, guys, we're out of here. Boom.